Different words describe different people. But in the eyes of the law, there's one that fits us all. Human right number seven. We're all equal before the law. What are human rights? Find out at youthforhumanrights.org. I'm Sonia. I'm Kate. And I'm Avon. And today we're dishing with you from the new Ping Pong Dim Sum, located at 907th Street Northwest. And today our guest is Ava Kowal. She is the owner and CEO of the Ava Agency. You do PR and events here in Washington. And as we say on the District of Dish, we love events. What makes your events so special? Why should we come to yours? Because they're fabulous, <laughs> quite <laughs> frankly, if I could put it that way. But honest and truly, we focus on events and public relations and marketing. That encompass popular culture fashion, the celebrity world, is there like all a, of them. Is there a touch that we would know like, oh, this is an ABBA event? Is there something that we would know? It's just the fa general it's fabulous. Just, yeah, you listen to the So you, you have a client list that you that you work with, and I mean, I would say, not every single time that Ted Gibson comes to town, it's your event, but you work very closely with him, and I so do. you have a client list kind of like that, that people kind of know mm -hmm. that's an ABBA event because Mark Jenkins is there, who we had on the District Dish, by the way, yes. we loved him too. So you point out you do have a, a signature style yes. to your events, and you always say, we're going to bring DC something that they have never seen before. Well, you know, how wow. do you that's continue a lot. to do that's that? A lot that's, to work with. that's a lot, that's a lot to, to say. I mean, that's a lot well, to no, do. But honestly, we've been doing this in DC for about eight years now, and as we all know, DC has really evolved from a more conservative type of place to become very cosmopolitan. So. We are always looking to bring DC something fresh and something new, and because we work in Miami, we work in New York, Vegas, and other parts of the country where things seem to be a little bit more progressive in terms of trends, we look to bring that to our market and even build on it. And now that DC is such a focus with the Obama administration, there's just a renewed interest in culture and in fashion and in art and all of those things that we specialize in. So we look to partner with clients like Cirque du Soleil and. Tyson's Gallery and several charities that we work with, the Washington Humane Society, we also do Fashion for Paws, and we look to bring that element of excitement and authenticity to our events. So that because is you always know, time. you always know Naba event, not only because of that, because of the uniqueness of it all, there's a luxurious component to all your events, that even if they didn't know that you were in the background, I always, I'd find out one way or another that it was you were a part of that. That's Thank one thing you. to remember going forward. Luxury. Thank always you. luxury. Uh, we, we work in the luxury market, that's really what we do. And not in a way that's unattainable. Well, and that's, I think, a lot of times when you go to events, or especially with a lot of events within Washington, you're working with um, with a group of people who want to put on an event, and there may be a younger group who don't necessarily know how to put on that fabulous luxe event. How do you explain where their money should go and what their event will end up looking like? Because you can't be like, oh, this looks like that event from two years ago that I went to at that place. That How do you come up with all these new ideas? We do not work in any kind of cookie cutter way um, because I'm an avid consumer with travel. I look at what excites me and then we look at the individual client and bring out their brand qualities and look at their initial their goals and create something that's just about them. Because I don't want you to come there and sip the champagne and eat the food and say this is a great event and leave, but we want you to support that organization or that charity or come back and shop with that you know, real, um, uh, retail establishment that we're supporting. So everything that we do goes back to what is this client about? And that's why we're And you're about. focusing on the luxury angle of everything else. So this is not, you've only been doing this for about eight years, so you've had an experience in luxury eight prior? Years. So your past, but before the actual uh, the Alba agency, you were in the luxury space, or luxury market, or I actually studied this. Okay. Um, went to school for it. You I can study that. <laughs> Can study you it, can study event, event planning. This is, you look like my, my parents. <laughs> when I said, when I call, <laughs> forget it. African parents, what do you mean? You're going, <laughs> to, be, you're, right. uh, you're going to be a doctor, you're going to be you're a lawyer. Engineer or a doctor. You, that, you know, you, that's it. You choose. And so I went into the medical field. I brought me back to DC. I was at Lombardi working cancer ah, research. And I was miserable. What a difference. Because I always knew what I wanted to do. And honestly, one day I picked up a big fat September issue of Vogue. And there was a story about a gentleman from Chicago who who was the creative mind behind Prada, Missoni, all these companies, and I packed up my bags and I moved to Europe. And I did a graduate degree in luxury marketing wow. for design and fashion. So I come, I have the academic background, 
and the tactical and practical background. Well, let's do, let's do the pros and cons here for a second. Let's start with the cons so we can end on a good note. Okay. But what are some of the biggest challenges about doing this in DC? I mean, it could be venues, it could be people, it could be budgets. What are some oh, of the budgets. biggest challenges? Budget is <laughs> a huge one? Um, I would say when we were doing this five years ago, I don't know that the market was quite ready for some of the concepts, but now everyone is eating it up and looking for more and more. We have to continue to challenge ourselves to be authentic and creative because there's a lot of competition in the market. You can no longer say we're the only agency that does this. And there's some really smart people that I, I, I love and support their businesses too. So remaining authentic and continuing to build on and learn each time is a challenge yeah. which we embrace um, budgets of course in this economy hasn't been that beautiful and, and in it, DC it's <laughs> always for a charity and right. no one wants to spend money on the charity so that's got to be hard it's always charity 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 which is good we, we appreciate charity. substance yeah, but you just, have to be creative though you have, your, when you create budget. put resources in to get the kind of event that will bring in big donors yes. that's it's this sort of is like it this. as you guys know you were you attended Modus Union at the Renaissance Mayflower and that was something you know again it was for a charity but if you bring something that people feel I've got to get to that I yeah. need to be there they will buy their tickets they will buy it I mean we're currently working on a Stevie Wonder benefit at the Kennedy Center you know $500 tickets again but it's Stevie and it's intimate and you're up and close with an icon people will, will spend money so it's making sure you bring in kind of a mix of excitement and enthusiasm and something exclusive and, and make it worth that ticket price good. well let's end on a, on a good note <laughs> favorite place to have an event in the city do you have one favorite place Ooh. there's just so many or maybe yeah. the first one that comes to your mind when we say like like the Rorschach test like favorite place what was the first thing that comes first to thing mind? that comes to mind um, it's like house your children choosing. I totally oh, put her on the spot. I love, house I love the House of Sweden for the location. That one's good too. Um, okay, we can't just stick with time. <laughs> I have, I have, it's so like many. a Frito Lay commercial. All right. We're Honestly, eat because we're always, <laughs> we're always looking for venues with great acoustics that are big and wide open. And I visited the new Longview Gallery, which I like. Um, but again, it's challenging because we don't have that many locations here. And you don't want to go someplace and people are like, ah, it's overdone. You know, how many times have True. I been to an event there? You know, but some of these museums, you can create, you know, a fantasy world. And uh, we've done fashion shows, I mean diamond shows at the museums, uh, Museum of African Art for instance, and so many people are like, I remember coming here on a field trip when I was 13, but we never knew you could do this here. You know, so th there's so much in this city, and if you're creative, you can, you can really do something. That is so true, and you do create a fantasy world for everyone, and you've created a little fantasy world for us here today. Thank, thank you. you so much for joining us. Thanks for, for having me. Everything wonderful about the city, and as always, thank you for joining us on this episode of The District Dish. Don't forget to check back next time when we'll speak with Adam Lambert.